Hello and welcome to Diego's Distillery Deliberations with this month's offering for 21st century distilleries brought to you by science. Yes, science, that essential area of human endeavour that brought you not just a distillation process that results in alcohol that no longer kills you and a tiny prick that can save your life from a novel virus that we've only known about for a year, but also delivered essentials such as the ever-popular gun camera, for when you want to remember the horrified look on your children's faces when you tell them to say cheese. And who can forget the not-at-all horrifying group shaving machine, stymied only by the unforeseeable inconvenience of everyone's face being a slightly different shape, this could otherwise have been a step change in the neglected practice of lethal depilation. Or the pistol mousetrap, with its unfortunate inability to distinguish between vermin, house pet and foot. What's not to love about this Second Amendment tribute to the American habit of applying firearms to solve the most mundane of everyday household chores? Of more immediate interest tonight is that science has delivered the Ailsa Bay release 1.2 Sweet Smoke, distilled, unusually, in a location with no claims to being the oldest or furthest compass pointiest distillery in Scotland. If anything, this could claim to be amongst the dullest histories, being situated inside William Grant and Sons Gervin Distillery, southwest of Glasgow, on the Clyde coast looking out towards Arran and Kintyre. So, this is a Lowlands distillery, built in 2007 on the site of the former Ladyburn Distillery, with the only architectural note of significance being the use of traditional, locally sourced TARDIS in its construction. For gin lovers, Gervin is also the source of the subtly cucumbered Hendrix. The malts produced by Elsa Bay mostly contribute to Grant's Glenfiddich and Balvenie blends. It's outfitted with eight stills, designed to deliver a variety of peated and unpeated styles. In addition to varying the peating levels, two of the wash stills and two spirit stills use stainless steel rather than copper condensers, allowing the production of a more sulphury spirit. More science! The distillery debuted its first solo bottling of a heavily peated no-age statement single malt in 2016. What you have in front of you is the second iteration, reportedly both smokier and sweeter than release 1.1, but both come in the most sciencey bottle, equally at home in a drinks cabinet or next to a Van de Graaff generator while you're reanimating corpses. Just look at all that science on the label. Each bottle is tracked using blockchain data with its own QR code and packs more science in per square centimetre than an A-level in extra hard chemistry. As you can see, it's scientifically distilled at 22 phenol parts per million and 19 parts sweet phenol parts per million, the first whisky to have an analysed measurement of sweetness identified. For interest, 22 ppm puts it in the same sort of range as Talisker or Bowmore. The distillery claims to be the only whisky in Scotland to undergo micromaturation, where the new make spirit is first filled into Hudson Baby bourbon casks of 25 to 100 litres for six to nine months to enable rapid maturation, before being transferred into virgin first fill and refill American oak casks. It's bottled to just shy of cask strength 48.9 ABV, it's non-chill filtered and uncoloured. You have your master of malt tasting notes here. On the nose, once you get past the smoke, a kind of barbecue hickory smoke that tends towards medicinal, I get a solid hit of coastal sea salt with some light butterscotch notes. And then in the mouth, it's quite light bodied given the ABV. Uh, there's an instant dryness which comes through the smoke and that becomes medicinal for me very quickly. There's an off dry sweetness in there with vanilla and warm peppery spice. <laughs> There's quite a long, quite complex finish, continuing with the smoke, sweetishness and spice. So, as we finish our tribute to science and the scientists who science their science daily, I think this stands up as an interesting dram. And while we're waiting for science to science up the next big science thing, let's face it, vaccines are so last year and everyone needs their portable tomato feeder, Ailsa Bay released 1.2 Sweet Smoke will at least give you something to do to pass the time. I hope you enjoy it.